Okay, everybody. This is the simulator portion of my presentation. I'm in a 182S model, fixed gear, on Flight Simulator 98. Now, the location of these instruments in this airplane are here, which is the RPM set at 2100, and here, fuel flow and manifold pressure. And that's the fuel quantity. Uh, now, this is staying at 2100 RPM because of the spring tension set at this, at this prop lever. When the spring tension is set, the centrifugal flyweights hold the spring at the desired setting. And it uses centrifugal force because of the rotating propeller. Hence the name to hold it there. So hence the name centrifugal flyweights. Now, it will, the governor will maintain this set RPM whether or not I increase or decrease airspeed. Now allow me to demonstrate. Little down. Airspeed is increasing. The RPM is still being set. Now to go the opposite way. Airspeed is decreasing rapidly, and uh, RPM is still being set. Oh, there's a stall. Didn't mean to stall there. Now, the same thing will happen, or the same kind of thing will happen. The governor will be made, still maintain the set RPM when I change manifold pressure, the throttle. Allow me to demonstrate. As it increases, see the propeller keeps maintaining it. Might fluctuate a little, but give the governor some time and it will stay at the set RPM. See? Look at the manifold pressure. Yep, give it some time and it will work. Now, when I push this throttle forward, this, uh, excuse me, the prop co control forward, that the means the oil gets sucked out of the uh, propeller hub and uh, the aerodynamic forces push the propeller to its lowest blade angle for the least amount of drag to give us the maximum RPM. That's why you set the uh, RPM, all the, the prop lever, full forward on takeoff. Just like first gear in a manual transmission, if you get any of you are familiar with, uh, any of you drive a uh, manual trans uh, car with a manual transmission. Set it to first gear first, and then you move up. That's why when you climb, or, this, or when, you, that's why when you climb, you have to have it full forward, because, uh, it's not a good thing. The only thing you change is the mixture until ship, until you're at cruise. Uh, anyway, and as I pull it back, the oil enters the hub of the propeller through the hollow propeller shaft, sets the and increases the tension on the spring, and it maintains the RPM with the centrifugal flyweights. Now, the, you may have noticed when I went over to the fuel, the uh, fuel gauge was very slow, very, uh, very low. Now, I had that set for a reason. The reason for that was because I wanted to show you the other great thing about the Cossacy propeller, even though it's been shown already, uh, mentioned already, is the ability of a full feathering. And the RPM's going down because <laughs> the engine's off. Now, 
Well, when you flew feather, when you flew feather, the all the oil gets pushed into the propeller hub and sets the spring tension to its highest to make the propeller go to its highest blade angle, almost streamlined with the wind, to allow the less, least amount of drag so you can have a, so you can have a least, least amount of drag so you can have the most gliding distance. And uh, I did this on purpose so I can land. Now I want you to show you the landing because uh, you guys know how to land. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for listening. Bye.